Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Robbinsville is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. A much anticipated rematch in the Group 2 Softball State Championship. Robbinsville looking to defend its title, Ramsey looking for revenge. Two top five teams in New Jersey battling at Kane University. Scoreless in the third, Ramsey starting pitcher Victoria Sebastian helps herself out. This is a rope that bangs off the wall and left. Emma Cunningham scores, Sebastian goes to third on the throw, and RBI double has the Rams out to a 1-0 lead. Next batter, Olivia Sebastian, keeping it in the family. The base hit one of her three knocks on the day. Victoria scores, Ramsey with a 2-0 lead, along with fellow sister Bella, Ramsey's three Sebastian sisters had six of the Rams' eight hits in the state finals. Robbinsville gets its potent offense jump-started in the fourth. Olivia Moser, the base hit to center. Devin Witt scores. We've got a 2-1 ball game. The Ravens would go on to load the bases with nobody out, but Victoria Sebastian pitches masterfully to get out of the jam. The fly ball to right ends the threat. Ramsey hangs on to a 2-1 advantage. In the bottom of the fifth, Robbinsville explodes. Shea Wall slapping one up the middle, an RBI single for the Ravens catcher. We've got a 2-2 game. Still in the fifth, Olivia Moser with a smash. That's a tremendous play at short, but everybody's safe. Moser gives Robbinsville its first lead. It's now 3-2 Ravens, and they weren't done. Two on for the Robbinsville pitcher, Kate Hunter, and she can hit it too. This pitch is belted to left, and it's over the high fence and Kane. A three-run homer for Kate Hunter. The Ravens score five runs in the fifth to take a 6-2 lead. After giving up two runs in the third, Hunter settled in on the mound. Here she feels the comebacker. Robbinsville is just three outs away from another state crown, but it wouldn't be easy. Give credit to Ramsey, who rallied in the top of the seventh, loading the bases. The tying run is at the plate. The fly ball to shallow left. Chelsea Manto makes an awesome running catch from short. We've got two outs. And Kate Hunter is able to seal the deal. The strikeout looking wins the state title. It's back-to-back -back state championships for the Robbinsville Ravens. 6-2 is your final. Robbinsville is now 26-1 after pounding out 11 hits. Our postgame coverage begins with Kate Hunter, who went the distance on the mound and delivered the three-run blast that was one of the biggest hits of state championship weekend. I think just knowing that I had my team behind me and just uh, knowing that like just having fun out there and just being get being together because that's really all with us. That's all it is. It's just being going out there, enjoying every second together. Especially the three seniors who are uh, myself included who are gonna be gone next year. Just like just in, soaking it all up. I saw the pitch coming in and I was like, I, I was like, I got gotcha. you. And as soon as I hit it, I I knew it was gonna go far. And I was a little worried that because last year I had an almost home run too, but they caught it off the fence. So I was definitely like a little like nervous that was gonna happen. And then once it went over, I was just like so much energy and the dugout I mean it just the entire team just the energy just went up. Um, I'm so proud of everyone like no matter what like everyone hit the ball great everyone put the ball in play so it was just amazing. What does it feel like to be standing here as a state champion it's, it's a hard thing to do when you guys are here. Um, I, it, I love it it's the best feeling ever it's one of my biggest accomplishments.